Wow. What a lot of stuff we have here. What do we have? My favorite part. We'll start with this piece. The programmable brick, the most important part of this box. This is what we use to control our models once we programmed on the computer. Powerful enough to fly an aeroplane. We're not gonna be doing that today, not just yet. But the first thing it does need is power. And in the kit comes a rechargeable battery. Now it has some charge, but it will need more. So you will have purchased the charger. If you look at this session in advance, uh, give it a charge first. Connects up like so. And this is ready to go. Now, if we run out of power in our rechargeable battery, we always have double A's as a backup, and it takes six double A's. So this is the EV3 programmable brick. So what else do we have? We have motors, and we have three of those. We have two large motors, and this is used for driving models around. And we have a medium motor. And this medium motor is used for uh, picking up things, it could be. Uh, and so that's the medium motor. And then we have five sensors. And the five sensors are touch, ultrasonic, color, and gyro. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about each of those now. So I'm just gonna move this box out of the way. And this is my fun bit where I get to open some of the bags. And you will be doing this in a moment. So what do we have? We have two touch sensors. And used for turning on and off. And we have two, so we can have one at the front of a car and one at the back, a bit like bumper cars. We have an ultrasonic sensor. And the ultrasonic sensor allows us to see distances. And we can measure in centimetres and we can measure in inches. And a new feature which is really fantastic is this ultrasonic sensor can look out for other ultrasonic sensors. So my robot can spot another robot coming into the room, which is really, really cool. 